Zoroastrianism was born in ancient Iran at least 3,500 years ago. It all began. Wow, wait, how much? So it's one of the world's oldest religions, but not as old as Hinduism. Again, around 1,500 BC. <laughs> Deborah is saying this is your roots. I, no, no, do, no, I have no idea. I have no idea who these people were. I've never met them. I've never, <laughs> I was like, this, I, I was born here. Okay, this is where I was born, okay? This I was born, but just because I was born here, that doesn't mean I have any connection to this religion. But I know it's a joke. Iran, at least 3,500 years ago. It all began around 1,500 BCE, give or take a few centuries, with the prophet Zarathustra. Or okay, these names in English is weird, okay? So Zoroastrianism, uh, the real name is Zarathustra, and Z what? Zar Zarathustra? His real name is Zatosht. So I don't know what these w weird names are. So give or take a few centuries. Okay, so this is the prophet. In and in Islam, they actually, I think in Islam, they consider him one of uh, Islam's prophets. I don't know. 500 BCE, give or take a few centuries, with the prophet Zarathustra. Or Every religion tries to claim some other figures, like Hinduism, like your Jesus is one of our gods. So Islam does that as well. Islam goes like, oh, Zarathustra? One of, it was one of our prophets, so they do that. I mean, some of them do that. Zoroaster, as the ancient Greeks called him, and so English speakers do too. While we call the religion Zoroastrianism, actual Zoroastrians tend to call it Mazda Yasna, meaning worshipper of Mazda. No. <laughs> this is the same joke as uh, Marco made. So Ahura Mazda is the god of Zoroastrian or Zoroastrians. Zoroastrians. Uh, so that's where the name Mazda from the car came from. Not that Mazda, but it actually was named after the Mazda that I'm going to explain shortly. Right. Zoroastrianism was the chief religion of Iran for around 1000. Okay, I don't understand. It's showing 600 BC, but the area of the map that is highlighting is the borders of Iran today. This is not the borders of Iran in 600 BC. So... I'm surprised that this channel got this wrong because this are these are yeah 600 BC. This was the borders went a lot longer on both directions. Anyway. To explain shortly, Zoroastrianism was the chief religion of Iran for around 1,000 years between the sixth century BC and the tenth century CE. It was the state religion of three huge Iranian empire. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's 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 the actual borders back then. He came at an empire of 300 fame along with the Parthian. Wait, are coming that are coming is that like Hachomenishi? Wait, are coming I know these names in Persian, not in Archimed Empire. Archimed Dynasty. What is that? Is that like um, come on, Farsi. Yeah, that's Hachamanishi. What the hell? Akamid. Okay, Akamid. Akamid Empire, okay. Huge Iranian empires. The Akamid Empire Akamid. of 300. Oh, Akamid. This is Hachamanishi. That's the real name. Fame, along with the Parthian and Sasanian empires. Yeah, Parthian. Back then, the priests of Zoroastrianism were known as Magi. The ancient Greeks thought these Magi had secret magical knowledge since they understood complex astronomy. That's where, by the way, that's where ma magic and ma the word magic and magician comes from these guys, Magi. Because the Greeks were dumb enough to think that these people actually had like superpowers. This led to the English words magic, mage, oh. and magician. There the we magi go. would even show up in the Bible, according to the Gospel of Matthew. Yes, we were told that the three wise men in the Bible, the guys, the dudes that saw the light and the star, and were like, oh, where is this? Like, it went showed up with gifts at the, um, with Mother Mary. These three men, they were, they, we were told that they were Persian. So apparently, I'm not sure if they're Persian or Zoroastrian, but people use those words interchange interchangeably anyway. Three Zoroastrian Magi came to visit the baby Jesus. These three wise men, as they are known in English, are still celebrated by Christians around the world on January 6th. Eventually, the Sasanian Empire will fall to the Muslim Arabs during... Ah, there we go. This is it. <laughs> this... Okay, this looks a lot cuter than what actually happened. So these are the Muslims 
who ended up, this is what the end of the Zoroastrian Empire, okay? The end of Zoroastrianism um, as a state religion was when the Muslims invaded Iran and the last Zoroastrian Empire, which was the Sassanid Empire. This is how it, this is, uh, look guys, we have real footage here. This is real footage of the events, okay? This is how Islam took over Iran. Let's look at it, okay? This is very sensitive stuff. This is this is what a lot of Iranians promise to one day get revenge for. Like Eventually, this. the Sasanian Empire would fall to the Muslim Arabs during their invasion of Iran in the 7th century CE, which ah. started the decline and persecution of Zoroastrian. Oh, look, they're running away to India. Like, look, this is where the Parsis come from, okay? So this are, like, they're like, wow, like they, they get kicked out of Iran and they're like going to India. Look at this. In Iran. Following this, in the 10th century, some Iranian Zoroastrians fled to India, forming yeah. the Parsi community, named after where they came from, which the Indians called Persia. This once refugee community now forms the largest group of Zoroastrians anywhere on earth, and they've settled in quite- Which I wanted, which was, which I was planning to go to India to make like a vlog of, you know, dark, mini documentary out of. Now I can't do that. I was going to go meet these people. Well, one of India's largest businesses, Tata Group. Thanks to all the mob that is like threatening me in India, that's why I can't go visit them anymore. I was going to do so many things in India. I was I had so many plans. <laughs> I really did have so many plans. There was like a very big famous YouTuber that was going to come with me. Anywhere on earth. And they've settled in quite well. One of India's largest businesses, Tata Group, was founded by Zoroastrians, and Parsis played a massive role in winning Indian independence from Britain. Ah, so wait, wait, really? Parsis had a major role in the independence of India from Britain? So wait, so all these uh, Hindus that come to me and say, Armin, you should be grateful when you were being attacked by Arabs. We accepted your people into India and we gave you refuge. So I should, now I can say, I should tell them, by the way, I know this is a joke because I don't think like I am, I'm not those people. But now I'm going to be like, you mofos, you, there wouldn't even be an India if it wasn't for my people. So <laughs> So I, that's my compact for now. I didn't know that. So the Russian the Parsis in India were responsible for winning Indian independence. Okay, so you guys, you guys owe me. You guys owe me. There's no India without my people. Wait, hold on. Katie saying Hindus complain that Hindu is a Persian term, but Parsi seems to be an Indian term, and they use it for the them even today hypocrisy no 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 because the parsi no because parsi is a is is a persian name they just refer to the Zoroastrians coming to india based on the location that they came from indian independence from britain with a religion being called zoroastrianism i think maybe it's about time we spoke about zoroaster yes we don't know much about zoroaster's life we can't even pinpoint when he lived the Greeks thought he lived 6,000 years before the death of Plato, so... Wow, that's, there's no way he's, it's that old. Wait, if it's, that, if it's that old, does that make it older than Hinduism? I don't think the Greeks knew much about how to date things anyway, so I wouldn't trust the Greeks on this. around 6347 BCE ish while modern historians place him somewhere around 1700 to 1000 BCE during oh, this I will trust that one more time the peoples of Iran believed in many different gods some of which were similar to the gods of their ancient Hindu neighbors hmm. what we do know is that Zoroaster was the priest of the pre Zoroastrian religion of Iran and that he was outraged by his society roving <laughs> Wow, so this story seems very similar. Okay, wait, so Jesus, Muhammad, and Nazareth, they were all like, there was another religion, and they were pissed off at the religious authorities at the same at the, at the time, and they brought a new religion. Like this, we keep seeing the same theme happening over and over again. Raged by his society, roving bands of drunken warriors right. would ravage the countryside. They pillaged 
tortured and slaughtered at will. The common people lived in constant fear and misery while priests obsessed over obscure rituals and sacrifices that offered little guidance or hope to the suffering. So, right. so much like Muhammad's story. So much like Muhammad's story. Come up with original material, people. Master couldn't stand this injustice. So when he was 30 years old, Zoroaster went down to a river to fetch water for a ceremony. There he received a vision from a being of pure light and goodness, Ahura Mazda. Who wow, Ahura Mazda, look at the wings. He who revealed that they were the one true God. The truth of how the universe worked was revealed to Zoroaster and he knew that it was now his divine mission to spread this truth to his fellow humans. So see, exactly like Muhammad. Muhammad was very, like, he was doing religious rituals and he was also very upset with how people were being treated and how people had forgotten their God. The only difference is that Muhammad was in a cave when all of a sudden God came, to, Allah came to him. Zoroaster was, like, in a river doing some religious crap and then Ahura Mazda came to him. So, so far, very similar.